Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to change a printhead for WF3720. This printer uses a pretty popular printhead, so uh, I assume you probably uh, will find a, a reasonable price of printhead if you need to replace it. Uh, we start with a classic to power it on. As soon as you see the printhead can move and shut the power off, just unplug the power cord so the bring that carriage can be free. On the left side, you're going to see uh, there's a hole right here. I'm going to use a pin to poke it. When you push it, and you can see this one, this side can be lifted a little bit. So just lift it. Now we move to the right side. You can see there's a tab here. Usually you need to lift that tab and also push uh, inside this little uh, hole here to remove the whole thing, but uh, for some reason this printer is really loose. So, is uh, as soon as I lift the tab, the the front hole doesn't need to be pushed at all. Now you can lift the whole thing up, and uh, we're gonna put it uh, on the top of the printer. And this piece has really long and a thin tab. And just push it inside, and uh, it'll come up really easy. And now we can remove all three screws. There are a couple tabs here uh, prevent you from uh, just lifting the print that straight up. So what you want to do is uh, lift it up a little bit, and then move the print that towards you. Remember the metal part of the cable is towards the bottom. To install, make the uh, little uh, uh, serial number towards you, then flip it upside down, and then you need to flip the label, uh, the cable upside down too. Uh, make sure the cable is uh, the make sure cable is clean, and then insert it, and then you flip the whole thing backwards. So the little serial number label towards you, and uh, the metal part is towards the bottom. So that's correct. And now you can put uh, the left side the cable back. Apps has two little nipples as a guide for you to decide where to put uh, the, uh, the uh, print head back. So uh, uh, just uh, move around a little bit, make sure the nipple can be seen over the hole. Those two holes inside, uh, they are actually the holes for the screw. The outside holes uh, is for the guide. And put the screws back, and uh, the little cable box, and then take the whole CSSE uh, thing and uh, just slide it right, slide it down, and it's gonna lock in place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.